Hey, Whiskey Ginger fans, I am on tour. Come see your boy. Circling around, I've had a great time so far. Indianapolis and Kansas City and uh, all those spots were so fun. What a great time I had on the road. Uh, and now, uh, this weekend, uh, I'm in Cleveland. I'm in Believe Land, baby. Uh, then I go to Elizabeth, Indiana, which is right outside of Louisville. Louisville, come see your boy. Then I go to St. Louis. Uh, after St. Louis, I take a little bit of time off. I head to Grand Rapids, uh, Detroit. Uh, then I'm gone pretty much whole month of November down in Australia with bad friends, mate. Uh, then when I come back, I'm everywhere. I'm in New Orleans, I'm in Chicago, I do San Diego, we added a show, San Francisco, we added a show, Minnesota, we added a show, Boston, we added a show, New York, Philly, we're everywhere. Uh, come see me at andrewsantino.com. Once again, that's andrewsantino.com. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You are that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger, I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's my boy. It's Doc Willis. Hell yeah. All right, so tell me. I said. Why haven't you eaten? Because it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I said, because I got this little ritual that I do to my great aunt. Because she used to fucking, but well, not fucking, she still do it. She <laughs> she she only, she eats muffins and coffee in the morning. Uh -huh. And I was like, what? You don't do breakfast? She was like, fuck bacon and eggs. I don't, <laughs> like, she's a G like that. So she just say, fuck, muffins and coffee? <laughs> yep, that's what she have every morning. Every how, single morning. How old is she? 102. <laughs> Shut up. No, nah, no bullshit. 102? You, yeah, you know who else? Eat worse than that every morning. Mm -hmm. Warren Buffett, McDonald's. Yeah, he has. A, He's an egg McMuffin. He, yeah, and if he have a good day, he has the combo or two of them. He says if it's the so stock market is up, he has a sausage egg McMuffin. Right. If the stock market is down, he has an a regular egg McMuffin. Exactly. No meat. Yeah. Yeah. He's and, a money terry. <laughs> yeah. And he was drinking fucking five cans of Coke every day. He drinks Coke every day, bro. Yeah, but this doesn't work for everybody. But most people I know it do. Okay. <laughs> Cause you know we, I get it. In the hood they don't <laughs> In the hood they don't deserve they're, they're not on that um yeah, they're they, not on the new diet plans in the hood? Nah, it's like I, well here's the thing about the hood too though. They because we don't really get a chance to go out and eat at restaurants like that, we we cook a lot of that at home. Yeah, you cook more than you go out. But that's every, yeah. every that's not just the hood. Anybody that doesn't have a lot like my wife's parents, they they never go out to eat. Unless right. we're in town and we say, let's go out to, you know, if there's a restaurant. But they live they live out deep and they don't ever go out. They cook they cook at home every meal and then once a month maybe they go somewhere. Yeah. So once I mean, a that's, month? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because, that, I mean, they don't, I mean, it's, it's, it's money and then it's also convenience. They, li they, they live deep out. Right. They don't live near a bunch of, you know. Restaurants. Restaurants, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's not like a... But money is a part of it too, in the sense that it's a waste of money to go out when it, you know what I mean? Like it's Man. it's a ripoff. But um, you're not in the hood anymore, bro. You're fancy. Everybody everybody knows. Ever since Doc left Bad Friends, he moved to the hills, to the Hollywood Hills. He bought a mansion. <laughs> don't, don't he bought a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here, not struggling, but I'm doing okay. But it's like you, fuck. You're doing good. Be, yeah, I'm, you're doing real good. For a single guy, perfect. Are you still are you still over at Amazon? What are you doing? No, I, you're Amazon, out. Yeah, because they switched the position. Yeah. And then they asked me, oh, we got to transfer you or you got to stay here and take less hours. And I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'm out. Gone. So, yeah, yeah. So I just said, I'll just figure it out because I didn't want to go into, like before, a full-time schedule. Yeah. And the job I had before was not only was it flexible, but I can just, just do what I wanted to do as far as scheduling. And come so, and go whenever you want. Exactly. That is interesting. So what are you, what are you up to now? You're still doing stand-up and you're running around. We haven't seen you. The fans... Uh... Fans want to know what what you've been doing. I see you sneak over to Seven Eckies and do some bullshit shows with those guys once hey, in a while. Hey man, don't be like that. That's I hate the, it. Hate him. I'm a big hater, dude. I'm a big. Don't hater. be like that, dog. It's... What are you doing then outside? You doing stand up still? Yeah, still doing stand up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to New York in October because I haven't been there since COVID. To stay? No, no, no. no. Well, I was gonna move out there. So yeah. bef I was trying to transfer from Amazon to one of their places out there. But come to find out, they were reducing hours at the place where I tried to go to. Are they paying less too, or no? Mm -hmm. It's the same. They're pay. paying the same same amount. Same not only money. that, they was giving out a bonus, like an extra two thousand for after thirty days because of the inconvenience of re, of getting rid of my position. Relocation. And yeah, and then another 
six months after that, they was going to give me another uh, 2000 and they would give me a relocation uh, mm. uh, check. So Jesus. I was like, oh, man, let me go on. Uh, let me jump on this. Right Why here. didn't you do it? Because um, I couldn't find nothing that was uh, feasible for me out there. You mean h- housing? No, nah, meaning schedule wise. Oh, Flexible. oh, 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 right. Scheduling and trying to do like, I, yeah. if I move to New York, I don't want nothing in the way of nighttime having to get on stage. And yeah. Out there, they already got the best shifts. So I would have had to either take the night, sh- the night shift, or the the graveyard sh- graveyard shifts, or the. Uh, and I can't do the graveyard. What's a graveyard? Uh, midnight graveyard, to midnight five? Midnight to like six? seven, eight in the morning. Yeah. So no and most of theirs was like 10, nine to four or beyond. Damn. So it was like, nah. Even though you get like two or three days off, it was, I still was just like, nah. Because if I move to New York, I really want to make sure that I can just boom. And the position I had now, if I could have transferred or had then, if I could have transferred, then I would have been able to just do it the way I wanted to do it getting the right amount of hours, being able to make sure I make rent on time and not go on my little savings I got. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So I just was like, all right. You got any gold bars? What's in your savings? No, you got any gold? gold? Bars. No, you. You got to have gold. You got a lot You know of gold? a gold bar just hit a million dollars for the first time? What? Gold bars just hit a million dollars for one gold no, bar. No, I had no idea. The highest value it's ever had in history. I was uh, listening to Neil. Neil was talking about the gold. one time we was in his room and he was talking about doing his room over there and he was talking about having gold bars and he had said, I got a little gold and he has to do it in a bit. So I don't know how true it is, uh, how much he has rather. I don't know. Well, he probably does have gold. Yeah. Yeah. Chappelle, but, that Chappelle show money. They paid him in gold for the first season. But what's interesting is digital isn't based on gold. So I'm wondering is... Oh, because you, you're Bitcoin, huh? You no, got all that shit? No. You don't have any of that hell shit? no. But you, it seems like that's the way that the government is kind of trying to, or wanting to move. Mm, I don't know. Don't the Fed can't control it, so I think that's scary for them. I think it's too sketchy, all that digital money. They, yeah. have, no, they have no control over it. Well, if they if, can't control it, I don't think they're going to let it go. Well, it, 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 they'll be able to control it if it's their digital. Yeah, but, they're, but it's not. It's right. a free market. It's an open market, and it's, it's unregulated. That's why it's so volatile. Right. It's who I, it, I don't even. I lost money. I lost money. On what? In Bitcoin. <laughs> I lost some you money, bro. Holy shit. A buddy was... of mine got me into it. He oh, sunk me hard. Oh, man. The motherfucking Fortrex. I did it one time, and then I was like, that's it. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> man, all them, and them Fortrex people that was hitting me up, I always be ignoring all that I shit. Got that's it. I got smoked. I got smoked. My man. little brother was into that. Now he's out of that because he wasn't profitable in that. And now because he learned. A little bit about digital trading. He started learning for the past couple years dealing with stocks. Now he's dealing strictly with stocks and going back and forth and trading with stocks. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, like he's he's like an animal with it. He's like Warren was when I, when I told him, I said, man, you're like Buffett was or is, was, where he would wake up every morning just in the paper. That's him. He's in the paper. He's constantly looking at the points and everything. And he's Smart. Me. Yeah, yeah. You can make like, good money in the stock market. Yeah, if he can lead him uh, escorts alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's supporting the economy as well. <laughs> yeah, it is. But this thing like... is everything. Everything equals out. Yeah, but you can't put that shit on your taxes. You think the best course is like? <laughs> that's not a write off. I just put it a little it's bit. Ted, did you really? Yeah, yeah, these bad. are old chairs. Don't shit okay. in these chairs, please. <laughs> they got sweatpants on. It'll yeah. stick. It's all right. Okay. Well, I would just let you know in case what? it lingers over. Uh, to yeah, if it gets to like, me, fuck. You laugh so hard you're shitting over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is your bro- is he into that mm-hmm. escorts? Are you into that lifestyle? Hell no. Never. When I, remember when I was on the streets, yeah. Move this so that you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, so I won't have to be Yeah, you don't have to reach. Myself, like guy, what, yeah, what, what? When you were in the streets, you had a, oh, yeah, right. Well, you were pimp, you were a pimp, right? Yeah, I, uh, not a pimp. That was a drug dealer. <laughs> What's the difference? The pimp is a person that, yeah, you, you own, know, protects own, women. You own women. No, we didn't own no women. We had our little, like, they called them Gucci girls, and they had their own little gang, but they, we didn't own them. Like, but you didn't make them get in the streets and earn money? Nah, because ain't no... <laughs> Listen, man. When Bishop Don Juan is like a rarity. It's no like super money into that because it's not legal, and it's to have a brothel. It's too low. It's too locate. It's too much of a location where you would have to have that. You got to keep so moving. So to put them on the streets, I fuckers ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. I got crackheads. I can get blowjobs for for ten dollars. I don't need. And it's the '80s when they first started. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they yeah. was they was really good looking. Like yeah. they wasn't fucking pookie from from New Jack City. They was <laughs> they was like in the beginning of their phase. And then you know you're a teenager. I was getting it in out there. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, that was the only time though where. Did you ever get burned? 
Nah, I could always wear a condom. And mostly I was getting them gummies. You know what I'm talking about? Them gum jobs. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so Good it's for like, you. not to celebrate it, though. No, you should. Gummies you can celebrate, though. It ain't got How to do come... <laughs> How come pimps can get away with wearing ridiculous shit? Why do pimps have to wear ridiculous shit? Fashion is fashion, too. But why wouldn't you just be like a regular dressed pimp? Why wouldn't you be a pimp that dressed like you? Why do you have to wear some wild shit? They they are for the pretty much, for, and be honest with you. They're peacocking. Most of them don't dress like that. That's just Bishop John, Don Juan. They don't dress like that in Detroit. They look like you and me. Right. Yeah, and they out there just giving hell out on the streets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because sometimes it, it is, though, that there are drug dealers that also have prostitution women yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah they have both you know right. what i'm saying so like if if she got a brain of money and he out there selling dope too and got or got people selling dope for him and he's controlling both right he's like microsoft <laughs> he got subdivisions <laughs> just like microsoft bro. Yeah, just yeah he fucking right. <laughs> bill gates of the fucking streets <laughs> like, yeah so what are you doing now outside of stand-up are you working you got a little gig nah, or no? I just made or nothing that nothing right now. I just said I got the little money saved. You're good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm kick back for a minute and I said, well, maybe I'll try to get some things going and in between and on your own time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. up with the ladies? Single. <laughs> Girls, <laughs> girls. <laughs> they give them the, give them the finger give point. Them your the stats. weird ass creepy. Yeah, give them your stats. <laughs> no, single, still, single. I still, you know, I've been. Well, I actually had one that I was, but she's too materialistic. And she she always, wanted stuff. She man, said, buy me shit. Just like, because she felt like I should be spoiling her with flowers and gifts. And that's mm -hmm. what a guy does if he really likes you. Really? Yeah, that's how I, they are now. I it's didn't like know. this. And then she was, <laughs> it, she's 29. So it was like, mm. oh, man, it was rough. Because I was like, it, it was already, I was already hesitant with that. But then it just was like, at the same time, she had that side of her too. So you got the age. I was against the age, and she was trying to show me that she was into me. And I said, "Okay, well, let's see what this go." But she was like, "You need to if you really want to. You gotta. You gotta." And I said, "No, nah, this sound like you're trying to be like have a trick. I'm not a fucking. <laughs> you know right. what I mean?" She was trying to fool you. Where'd you meet her on an app? No, on Instagram. Instagram, baby. She came and got you, huh? Yeah, you know, I don't like to even fuck around with chicks on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Because. I had a situation where I met a, met a chick that way, and instead of exchanging numbers on the ground, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Let's go to WhatsApp, right? Go so to we, WhatsApp? We, yeah, WhatsApp. Why WhatsApp? Is she from because international? Because you don't exchange your phone numbers or anything, so you can talk on there, which, because this was pre-Instagram phone calling. This was before... Okay. Using it. it so was you there. didn't want her the to have your The feature was there on the ground, but yeah, but I wanted to just do it on WhatsApp mm -hmm. instead of through, because Instagram is kind of personal to me a little bit. Okay. It's, it's not personal to where I use it constantly, because you say I don't really... <laughs> You're never <laughs> on there. But, yeah, yeah. So it's like... Once every six months, you put some shit up. <laughs> yeah, it's just like whatever little thing I do, I'll throw it up there. That's it. But um, so I was like, let's just do WhatsApp, because WhatsApp is like the garbage can of like, it's like the dark web of... <laughs> Is it really? Meetups. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought WhatsApp was only used for international. Whenever I'm overseas, all the Europeans, they want to hit you on WhatsApp. And I was always like, why not just the iPhone? They, if you have an iPhone, you don't have an iPhone. I got an iPhone. You do? Yeah. I don't get it. Because then you just use iMessage. But WhatsApp is your phone number, too. It's still your phone number. Yeah, but they don't have it. They don't get to get your phone number. Really? Yeah. Oh. They don't have access to your phone number. I didn't they just know. Have. So it's like, okay. So... But they can call you through the app. It'll the app will call you. Not yeah, the your app phone will number. call you okay. exactly. So, so materialistic girl WhatsApp me. Yeah, and then, what did she so, want you to buy her? I'm gonna show you what happened with her. Oh, which one? The the one from Miami or the one? Shit, I don't know. Okay, but, my uh, God. <laughs> no, but okay. So let's talk about this one. The, the other. So she it was like, oh, okay. It started with. Us just really having a good time. Then we start FaceTiming, video, you know, video chatting through the through the WhatsApp, and we having a good time going back and forth. And then after about a month, month and a half, she started talking about bills. Bills. Yeah, like yeah, mom, my phone bills high. Yeah, it's fucking. They're just throwing yeah, it's out too those. Too bad. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, well, God bless you. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I'll pray for you. Throw mm -hmm. a little prayer, and hopefully, mm -hmm. you can get that taken. You know what I mean? Jesus, <laughs> pay these bills, <laughs> and He will. <laughs> <laughs> so then it was like I said, okay. 
this is going good. Yeah. Right. And then she. Did you pay any bills? Never. Doc? Never. Not one. Never. I bought her a chick some feelers before. <laughs> for a little bit of ass. This was back in the day, though. <laughs> I might have been some feelers yeah, for some yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before. That was back in the day. But outside of that, no. Nah. Because for what? I mean, if you if you get women, right, that like you, mm. you don't need to. For what? Right. Uh, other, I mean, it's kind of like that when you're going out with them and spending anyway, going on dates and yeah. If you're spending, you're going to be spending money yeah, somehow. Yeah, but but when they ask for an object, yeah, yeah, that <laughs> of is desire. Bad. Yeah, that's, that's bad. like that's prostitution, really. You mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that chick, she was like, "You give me some feelers so we can fuck," and I was like, "To the mall I go." <laughs> I, was, I was in there. Hello, man. foot action. <laughs> yeah, help. <laughs> Do you have feelers in stock? <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, she's bad too. So I'm like, all right, I'll buy these for you. So did that. <laughs> And then, um, but anyway, so it went from that to all of a sudden. Now, normally when she would call me, phone would be in her hand. Mm -hmm. Talking back and forth. Look what the outfit I got on. Right. I'm like, oh, you looking good. I'm talking about a girl. Okay, don't thumb out. <laughs> right? And then she, this time she calls me. And the phone is like set up on something. It's not a computer. Not a computer. You can see. I'm like, wow. Well, it's like on a stand. Like on a stand, because she's sitting at her dining room table, which she always called me from the table, but it was this time it was different. I saw, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So my sorry, sorry, some bullshit about to pop off. My fucking street sense is the little spidey sense. Are you sense. tinkling? Yeah, yeah I was tinkling street like sense? a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm sitting over there like, oh, sense. something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then she had the long face. Hi. And I'm like, all right. How are you? You okay? What's going on? Somebody died? Well, you know... Remember, I've been talking to you for the past couple months or three months, whatever, about certain bills, and a couple of them have gotten behind, and I need about $400, and I really need your help. And I was like, man, listen, we ain't even dated yet. We yeah. haven't even seen face You never met face. up. Yeah, we never met up. No. So I was That's like, yeah. I was like, no. Nah. I said, what am I? She's like, what if you want to be something to you? You got to show me that you're serious and that you're real. You got to. You gotta come after me. You gotta, and I said by by giving you four hundred dollars, I don't even fucking know you like that. And then so, all while she's talking to me, she doesn't realize that there's a man shadow that's going across the floor. Oh no way! Yeah, that's standing behind the camera. So I look and I see the shadow on the floor. So I just don't say nothing. I'm just going there. I'm just feeding in like, ah, hey, we. And I said, well, I can't do it. Blah blah blah. And I said, then I got quiet. And then she's like, what's wrong? I said, in the streets kicked in on me. I'm. Uh, Get a little uncomfortable for y'all in case y'all be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, but I, I I got quiet and I looked at her. I said, bitch, what do you think this is? You think you think this is a joke? You think I don't know this is a fucking scam, bitch? Like that. And then she goes, what? Why are you talking to me like this? I, I wouldn't do run no scam on you. What are you talking about? I said, bitch, I saw crack heroin, been on the streets, been in jail for different things. Bitch, I know a motherfucking scam when I see one. Uh -huh. And then she goes, what are you talking about? I said, I said turn and look to, the, to your right on the floor. There's a man's shadow right there, and he's standing behind a goddamn camera, bitch. And then she looks, she goes, oh, oh. And then you can see the guy's shadow, and his hands fell. And I'm like, hang up, bitch. bitch hang up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm like, man. And I just start going, oh, my bitch. You're wasting my goddamn time. Three months of this shit and you up here scamming. I said, and she said, oh, I'm so sorry. You're a good man and I shouldn't have never did this. You know what? I'm sorry. Bye. And he clicked, hung up the goddamn phone. Damn. Yeah. And that so, was it. Yeah. So when it comes to like meeting women on any social media, and I don't. That's a cautionary tale. Yes. Yeah, it, but luckily you didn't get scammed. People get scammed all the time. Yes. Or some people are looking to get scammed. Yes. You know, some guys go on those sugar sites. They know they're going to get scammed. They know they're going to get scammed. And they scammed. do it anyway. And then some of these women, because of how good looking they are, you know, you got athletes and different rappers and different uh -huh. politicians, rich men that just fly them out and, and do whatever they want them to do. You know, so you have that aspect. Like, it's, it's just they, it's just suspected for some of these women because they think, oh, you got to, no, nah, you got to do like these. I'm like, no, nah, you're not doing that. So, I'm glad you didn't get caught up. Nah, nah. nah you're too smart. Man, it would never happen. It's, it's one of those things where it's just like, for me, if I get caught up, it's just because I want to. Right, you're looking. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. Guys look. Guys do look for it to be scared. Yeah, to get <laughs> to get sunk. You know what I mean? Well, I was watching like uh, to get sunk on a woman. That happens a lot. Yeah, because sometimes you're like whatever. I was watching uh, uh, with my great aunt because she watched all these murder mysteries. This is one o two. 
Yeah, one. She's one o two. She's one o two, about to be one o three in January. And she's her cognition is good. Like everything, she can. She's not. No. No, she's not. No, uh, it's bad. It's, it's rough. Okay. It's rough. It's she has dementia, so it's constant. Does she know who you are? Hundred, hundred percent. She knows who you are. Yeah, hers is like a very slow, like it's a slow breakdown. Like I don't know what it is about hers since she's been diagnosed way back in early 2014, 13 or whatever. She's she's still been great as far as memory. Some of her memory is slipping. But not of who I am. She knows exactly who I am. Wow, my memory's bad now, and I'm forty. <laughs> Mine's I have too. a terrible <laughs> memory, bro. <laughs> my, my, I, I don't actually, remember shit. Me and Ian was talking about that. The Ian Edwards. Yeah. I was telling him. I said, "Man, man," I said, "I don't know what's wrong," but I said, "When I converse, I can't even remember like certain vocabulary. It's like I have to repeat the same type of words all." I said, "God, I don't know what happened to me." And he said, "Man, that's been happening to me too." He said, I, "They bothered me," and then <laughs> and one time I called him. About something. And I said, hey, you remember? And he's like, nah, you know my memory is just. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, give me some conspiracy shit. What do you think this is? What's, what's this coming from? Let's get into conspiracy because I know you love conspiracy, them. Conspiracy, yeah. The, fan, the, the conspiracy. Bad Friends fans used to love it when you got into conspiracy shit. But the only thing I would talk about is well, the, the aliens. alien stuff. And that's but, not even conspiracy. I was just giving them the information. Of that's what, just fact. Yeah, the facts. That's but, all I was the, doing. But do, don't you think people's memories are slipping or life feels a little bit different post-pandemic? Years later, something's up. Something, man, because, or it's just that, also, you know, like, there's this, you ever notice how now, all of a sudden, don't eat too much process or ultra process. So I'm wondering, and then you got microplastics and all of this stuff the now. The microplastics yes, is wild. right, it's wild. So now there's this whole thing of, have all of these things we've accumulated in our bodies over the years because of bad science is now having an effect on our neuro, neuro synapses and everything and the way we think and the way we act and the way our physical bodies, we're breaking down because there's a lot of unfiltered pollution in your in, in your bloodstream and it's in your different organs and it's just, I'm like, God, That damn. sounds right to me. Yeah. It's, I don't it's, like that. That scares the shit out of me, but that sounds, <laughs> that sounds right. I, I try to make sure. It's like now I stop buying cases of water. You're right. You so, mean plastic bottles? Bottles, yeah. Right, because they, they the sit cases. in the sun and shit? Sit in the sun or it's it's just, it's not that because what the microplastics actually come from is from the manufacturing of the bottles and not being necessarily cleaned out enough or little bits and pieces. So That's why when, I do, I try to do glass. Yeah, you try I to I like do. glass because glass can't leak. Right. So that glass is kind of a safe bet. Yeah, that, well, that's the, that was what's been spoken on, but how many places are selling big jugs of glasses of water no you can't it's hard to find right. it's expensive too it's a ripoff right but what i did do was i did a little research on how, how can you lessen that drinking from other 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 sources right so what i learned is the bigger plastic jugs and stuff like that most of the time they don't have a lot of microplastics where to as if you drink and consume different individual, individual bottle bottles. water yeah, yeah. There bunches of them being made and there's a Ugh. bunch of plastic flying around whereas even though that the jug bigger jugs are being made by the by the uh the case but they they're not as many as you would if you buy a bottle right. a, a, a single case of water that's what I I like my this but you're you're like Wikipedia for me. <laughs> well, you, or you can always just you're gonna lose a lot of it during evaporation, but you can boil it. Yeah, but they say on. heating it up also helps. It the kills water germs. Too. Yeah, and it also melts the microplastics down. It kills it down to like ninety, almost ninety nine percent effective. But you, who's got time to boil their? I shit? don't. I just be like, <laughs> fuck it. Whatever happens, I'm out of here. <laughs> Wait, give me a, your great aunt. You're sitting with her. She's one o two. She's one o two. Uh, so she's. What were we talking about? Just you were saying that see, you were, see? Huh, you see, yeah. see, see. This was an exercise to show you that you wouldn't remember microplastics. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! You fucking with. <laughs> In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Junior is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the place to build your own site. All-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. You know, look, we've been using Squarespace because we want to create sites that change to give you guys information on where we're going to be touring and videos that we put up. And whether you're a personal trainer or you've got some bespoke company that makes dog necklaces, maybe you make dog necklaces? Uh, I don't know what you do, but whatever you do, you must, 
must use Squarespace. It's incredible. Um, they have so many features now as they've grown as a company and if I've, we've been using them, it's amazing. These blueprint AI and SEO tools that personalize your own website uh, with a guided design system that's Squarespace Blueprint. It's so incredible. They have flexible payment options. You can offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. Um, checkout can be seamless, which is great because if you're selling something, you want to get that money and get them their product fast. No middleman screwing it all up. You can sell exclusive content on your site by adding a paywall to sell membership courses or you know files or whatever it is. Again, no matter what you're doing, Squarespace has you covered. Client invoicing, you can manage your clients' invoices, vetting leads to receiving payment via invoices and one streamlined customable workflow. It is incredible. You have to try it. If you haven't and you're looking to build a website, I don't know what you're waiting for. They are the only ones in the game that are doing what they're doing. So go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, squarespace.com. Check it out. You like it? Go to squarespace.com slash whiskey. Save yourself 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, I'm here to tell you about Calshi. Uh, exciting new app uh, that a bunch of people I know have been using for quite a while. Uh, it's the first and largest legal prediction market that lets you trade on pretty much anything. You can trade on your knowledge to make money or hedge a real world risk you have with the markets that Calshi offers. Uh, you can, you know, Calshi has hundreds of markets that you can trade on, such as whether inflation goes up or interest rates go up or who's going to win the Oscars or who wins the World Series, you know. Uh, is the number four bus going to be, you know, come before the number 13 bus? Who knows? Uh, it's uh, pretty great though. Uh, Calshi is the first legal exchange in the U.S. to trade on these kind of events. Uh, they plan on listing markets to trade on the elections in the next few weeks, which would make them the first legal exchange in the U.S. where you can trade on the elections. Pretty incredible. You can bet on who's going to win. Who's your horse, baby? There goes that rabbit. Calshi's got hundreds of markets to trade on. Uh, they've seen over 750 million in trading volume, so much, and they keep adding new markets. They have a sweet mobile app as well. Uh, you must check them out if you're someone that uh, likes to uh, trade on the world and try to predict what's going to happen, whether that be sports or award ceremonies or the market or anything. Uh, you got to check them out. Uh, check them out. I'm proud to uh, have Calshi as a sponsor. I hope you check them out using the link calshi.com slash whiskey on your phone and get a $20 bonus when you deposit $100 using their mobile app. Calshi. Yeah, you can trade on that. Ginger. I like gingers. But she's cogn she, her cognition, you say, is not that bad. If she remembers who you are at 102, that's wild. Is she your oldest living family member? Yep. She's, I told her yesterday. I said, you broke the record. And 102. Goes, oh, yeah. And I said, yeah, on both sides of my family, I don't have anybody that I know of that lived past 90. She's like the only one. Yeah, 90 is wild. Yes. You think you'll live long? I don't really care. You don't give a shit? No, nah, man. Because when, like, when it's time if, to go, you're good to go. I'm good to go. What if, good, what if to go is tomorrow? It's fine. You, you don't you don't like that? No, not yet. Oh, I got man. some life left. I just look at it. It don't have to be like this bad. I don't have a wife, and key, but you have a wife. Yeah. And then you may, and I still want to get married and have children too, right? Sure. But by me being who single and living the way I'm, I'm free. So it's like I'm free to go whenever time is. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just look at it like, like a. Einstein's theory of relativity in space time, and then I look at it from a biblical perspective, perspective of because they both say Einstein believed in determinism, meaning everything is right and done. And then the Bible says that God predestined everything, and I lived in the comfortableness of that because I look at it as, oh, my time to go. This is what it is. Yeah, if God says go, I just you hope it go. ain't no fucking tiger kill me. Or <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you be like, fuck, will you see bringing the tiger? <laughs> well, dude, I read today, I read today they were saying quantum physics. According to, to uh, quantum physics, uh, death doesn't exist and may just be an illusion. Our current way of thinking goes on to assume that the world has an objective uh, existence independent of the observer. However, numer numerous experiments have suggested the opposite. It was an article that came out just recently. It's kind of fascinating that the, it was the illusion of death. Uh, this, the belief leads us to accept the concept of death primarily because we identify ourselves with our physical bodies. But uh, biocentrism, a theory proposed by Robert Lanza, Dr. Robert Lanza, argues... If we incorporate life and consciousness into the equation, many scientific puzzles can be explained, including why the universe appears fine-tuned for, for life. So it's kind of kind of a deep cut that perhaps death is just an illusion. 
Well, it, yeah, when you look at it... We really yeah, actually I mean, don't ever you, die. When you look at it from the fact that... Also, what they say about us, that they think we're in a simulation, right? I mean, I believe... I, the simulation shit, I believe, when 100%. When you think about if you wanted to, whether you believe or not, but just think of a, there being a creator, there being actually a... Well, creator. I believe in a... I believe in... I believe in something. I don't know what it is. I right. couldn't put a thumb on it. Right. But something exists. Exactly. I don't know. If, I don't think it's a guy. Whatever it is that created the 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 space and time so all of it the space the time continuum yeah but the continuum the problem with the continuum is number one it's having a lot of problems right now you know with the james <laughs> webb telescope now i love seeing, you bro seeing you know the continuum has having a lot of problems <laughs> this continuum got me all fucked up <laughs> yeah it's fucking it's, it's got it's got it's, it's got its issues with it well the, because i think i think we're finally seeing um, all of our experiments come to light after all these years, and it's really fucking with us. Yeah, you saw these. You know what happened with with what's going on in space. I know you're oh, a they space guy. Stuck up there. They're or... stuck. And oh they're, yeah. And yeah. And, and, t and now SpaceX has signed a con or an agreement with with the government apparently that they'll go up there, and they can get them in this in this second round. But it'll take them six months to get them. Hold up. Did you did you did you see the new article on that? Mm -mm. The spacesuits are incompatible with the spaceships that SpaceX has. <laughs> what? So they got to yeah. send them up. Well, they got to send them up new shit then, right? Yeah, they got to do it a whole nother way because they, I guess, it's something to do with the the way that the the suits are designed versus the interior it's, of SpaceX's. Yeah, right. it's like oh my. But god. But it's still going to take them six months. These the astronauts. Explanation. These astronauts are going to be still stuck for six more months, though. Whatever it takes, I guess, I mean, even possibly longer. Do you even want to come back at that point? Uh yeah, hell yeah. I'm I don't know. I might just space. say open the door, let me go. Yeah, unless you get that's your that's your suicide. Well, if because I think <laughs> if you're up, you've been up for that long and there was a chance you might not get back. All right. Open the hatch, dude. Well, in the vacuum, you're definitely going. It's gonna be quick. <laughs> it's just like a fuck. <laughs> like the Titanic, yeah, yeah, right? Really like the one is. <laughs> you think oh, the you won't even know. You mean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When they when they went to see the Titanic, yeah. you wouldn't even know you're gone. You go so fast, you don't even know. Yeah, it's quick. It happened it, beyond quick. It's quicker than quick. Fuck. It's quicker than you could process. I just you're gone even... instantaneously. Wow. That I'd rather that than a sl than a slow death but or feeling if, it. That's what people say, but there had to be a little bit of no hearing something. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you heard yeah, something. Yeah, like what, what the fuck but is man... he telling? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I don't mean to fuck no. it. But you know, hey, no, it was a crazy there. journey in the first place. What were you doing down there? What were you doing down there? I want to see the Titanic. Too bad. Same thing it's the deadly. UFOs be doing down there. Some something. You think the UFOs are at the bottom of the ocean? You yeah, think they say USOs. They call them USOs. Under unidentifiable submerged objects. You, you haven't seen the video on USO? the other? No, you gotta send me this shit. Oh shit. You with all You're this shit. I haven't seen it. I don't know this. You didn't see the, the name. I know there's when they creatures in the then... ocean that blow my fucking mind. I saw an ad yesterday for Pacific Life. You know the insurance company with the whale that comes out of the water? Pacific Life? You've seen it. You've yeah. seen Pacific Life yeah, Insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a big whale that jumps out of the water. That's yeah, their icon. The water. Fucking right. Beautiful. See, see a whale, yeah. and then you go, okay, that's a hundred percent an alien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a dinosaur sure. alien. Shit, a squid, and, fucking. And land. there's <laughs> millions of them. I, yeah. they don't know. I think they have no idea how many more are down there. Yeah. I believe in all that shit. Well, yeah. I mean, you got thirty thousand feet, right? You got a tremendous PSI of water once you get through so much of a PSI that whales don't, they don't, they only they go, can't go a mile deep. They can't right? go that far. That's what's interesting about space and even about the concept of God, right? Is I was talking to somebody about that. I said, man, that's interesting because I was listening to Michio talk and about dimensions, right? And they are asking him what a dimension is. And he said that a dimension is this. He said when he used to go to this Japanese pond up in San Francisco, he said there was these carp with their eyes on the side of their head that swim under these lily pads and it was a shallow pond so he said the carp have no way of knowing that there is another layer above them so their only existence is they see each other and they just move in in this two-dimensional way they just move back and swim back and forth and around each other he said what if i reach down and grab the carp and lift it out of the water and then he said oh, now the carp has experienced a new physical being it's feeling it's, it's experiencing oxygen a whole uh, a person breathing with no gills, so it's a whole nother physical realm. For he said, that's what we are. He says, as if somebody's looking down on us can reach down and just lift you out the fucking universe. I said, fuck, God is real, and then it <laughs> remind me of Men in Black. I even put it all in this little video I had made. I said, this shit 
is scary as fuck. I said, man, you, man, that's, you shouldn't have said this shit. Yeah. And then he was recently on News Nation. Yeah. They've been covering a lot about UFOs now. And they asked, and he, the guy asked him, he said, well, then, he said, could the aliens be our God? He goes, wait, 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 now, that's, you know, I love, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I don't call him a nerd. I like New Nietzsche or what, he, but he is a, yeah. <laughs> he's a scientist. Uh, he's like, uh, well, well, now that's two separate questions. He said, one is somebody coming here telling you that they're your gods. And he said, but the other one is the creator himself. He said, so that's, that's two independent things. And I uh. said, damn. So I'm over here like, I got to go back to church, man. <laughs> I whipped open my Bible like, what is it? Leviticus, thou shall not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. So I, I, I just look at life as a, uh, see, I forgot what we were talking about again. There's no wrong belief system. Whatever you, whatever thing you believe. Do you, go to wrong, church? Do you go to church here in What do you think? Pedophiles ain't got a good, got a good belief system? <laughs> No, I'm talking about that. I'm talking oh, about if you believe in God. Okay, okay. I, I don't go. think any God belief is wrong. I think whatever you believe in God, whichever version of it, whatever it is. Well, I, if, I, I think any, but I think any version of it that you believe in is fine. If you believe in something and it gives you hope or power or substance, uh, if it gives you joy, if it gives you something for life, right. it doesn't bother. I don't. I couldn't care less. I look at God a lot different from because I grew up Christian, right? Yeah. And Baptist. And I look at God totally different because I go to all kind of different churches. Do you still go to church now? When I ain't been in a while. I've been, it's been about at least five, six months or maybe even longer. It's been a long time. Why not? Because I've just been lazy. And then I've been working at Amazon on Sundays and. Right, and that gets in the way. I just kind of like stopped going and, you know, so now I'm off. I'm like, I was saying that today. I was like, yeah, I should go to church today because before I go to the podcast. And then I was like, ah, fuck. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. So I just got to get myself back in the mental. But I go to church for a different reason versus like everybody else. It's like church for me is more of a gathering of people that's like mine. Sure. That's all it is. It's like when we hang out, like right now, we yeah. comedians. You know, when we when we when we go, remember how we used to do at the comedy store afterwards? We would all go, go to out. either Green yeah. Bats or Norms and yeah. sit and eat and kick it. Same thing. It's the same thing. So you just get gathering with the people and then you're just giving praise and thanks to the to the divine creator. Mm-hmm. So I have a whole different concept about God. My concept of God is similar to that of Einstein and what the Bible actually teaches versus says versus what a lot of preachers teach. It's, it's, it's two different. Sometimes you go to the churches or you listen to people like preachers talk about God. You're like, what God is he talking about? Because that ain't. It's not the one I know. No, right. because you can't talk about God and then say, God is good. God is good. God is good. And then when something evil happens, you go, well, that ain't God. And I go, what? How? What do you mean that ain't God? If God created all things, time. The problem is, is you're trying to judge God and say God is evil because these, if he if if he's part of this, but it's God is both. So God doesn't have evil. He's just good because he controls it. It's that's what I mean by like to God, we would be assimilation. Because you imagine if so if the space-time continuum was correct which we know for a fact as far as particle-wise, you look at how you look. We made out of the same three elementary particles, keep it basic. Protons, neutrons, electrons, right? You got protons, neutrons, protons got two quarks up, one quark down, neutrons got two quarks down, one quark up, blah, 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 right? So we're made out of those same elementary particles, subatomic particles, but yet somehow your arrangement of atoms make you look like you. There, there's a physical reasoning and a law that takes place for you to look like you and me look like me. So when I look at everything with God, that it, it would be, we would be as a simulation to him because he can just create. <laughs> and then you think of the time and you think of all the civilizations and the different ones that pass us as the Aztecs and the Mayans and so on and so forth, all these different Mesopotamian, Babylonians and all these, every language that was spoken then that same being would know that language. And every, like, and then, like, I was, like we were talking about the whales. Mm-hmm. I was watching the killer whales kill the seal on the ice. You ever seen that shit? <laughs> yeah. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. It <laughs> is. But the communication, right? And you said, and you have to look at God in that too. You go, what? So that means whoever this is that created all this, whether it be a God you believe in or the universe, it does have a consciousness to know the language of whales. Man, that's it. 
It made me want to go to church a little bit, <laughs> get a little prayers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. For me, because that's how I look at him. So I don't look at him like, I was watching Neil deGrasse Tyson talk. Yep. He's like, I don't believe there's God because right, I've heard when I've seen that, yeah. people terminally ill kids, and I, <laughs> and I said, oh, you ain't terminally ill. Look at all the people that, the percentage of people that's live versus the percentage of people that's terminally ill. Come on, playboy. And he was like, tsunamis. I'm like, tsunamis? How many tsunamis are there? He said it like this. So I said, no, bro, you can't do that. If you're going to say the universe is beautiful as a physicist, then you would have to say God is beautiful. It's preposterous. Okay. It, but, but there's this. You're saying it has to be evil with good. If everything was good, we wouldn't know it's good. Yeah, it's the if there wasn't it's, Right. If there was no balance. The right, yeah. I understand. And, and death, we don't want to become people who lack empathy. But death comes to everybody, whatever yeah. form it is. Unfortunately, some people got to go in ways you're like, God damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, fuck, did he just get <laughs> like, hit, you know, hit by a truck? Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's painful to see, and we empathize, and some of us share tears for the relatives that we lose in certain, you know, painful ways. Sure. However, God is still good. Percentage-wise, when I look at the mathematics of the universe, I'm like, because even if the earth was destroyed right now, there's other life forms and other planets and solar systems that still exist. Mm -hmm. Unless he destroyed it, unless there is a time like the Big Rip or something like that where it's getting to a point where it gets to a point where the whole universe just becomes unstable. And it needs to fix itself. Or whatever. Right. And it just what you're really annihilates. saying, what you're genuinely saying, what I hear, Doc, is that all lives matter is what you're trying to say. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the fishes all the way up to whatever. <laughs> but your manner of death. And so I, I look at that. I look at like, when people get, when like people are like, oh, you shouldn't eat animals and kill animals and blah, blah, blah. Like they do it to each other. It's all a cycle. <laughs> yeah. But for some reason, animals aren't sentient beings, right? They're well, just, they're just these objects that people look at. But to me, animals are just like us. And even plants, if you really want to get into it, like, but you, you won't look at that because wait a minute, I, I eat carrots. Right. Every time I like, Bite into an apple and that juice come out, that might be a tear. <laughs> apple Yo, I, can't, <laughs> I can't believe you don't smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, I, am I used shocked. to. I, used I to. know. I, you know what? Are you still on your wine, by the way? Oh, all the time. You're on the vino. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Meaning two cups and glasses a day. Two a day. Well, I try to, but Late I can't at really night? afford it like that. It's expensive to drink wine. Well, no, wine's no, no. A wine is expensive. Yeah, yeah, no, so here's the thing. Nighttime, wine, for some reason, it keeps me up. And then I did some research on that, and I learned what alcohol does to some people. It, it, Because no matter what, what, if I drink wine later than 7, 8 in the evening, I'll go to bed at night every single time, two hours I'm woke. So I did some research on it and come to find out the alcohol affects the brain and the, the neurological patterns and stuff like that. It, it keeps you, know, you more alcohol, engaged, yeah, right? Yeah, it keeps me more engaged. So I said, damn, man. So I started drinking wine. Like, I'll have wine now after lunch, right? So you have two glasses after lunch. Yeah, I'll have two glasses after lunch, or I'll have it right around three or four, and then I won't try to drink no more wine at all, or, or you know, at night. Have you ever sli have you slipped and had a whole bottle? When my mom had passed away, I was. Yeah. Yeah. I was, then you had a couple of bottles. Hurting. Not a couple, because I get sick. Like, I'm... My me, me me and my mother we have allergies to alcohol. That's why I can't drink whiskey and all that. Yeah, yeah. I get sick as hell. Like and not even hangover sick. It's like my stomach and sometimes. But wine doesn't up. do it to you. Mm -mm. Wine is the only thing that's just like you good. But it's got to be white wine, right? No, Pinot Noir, both. Maybe oh, you can have both. Or. I just drink the Pinot Noir because of the Reservatol and the, and the flame. Fla fla forgetting the words. Get try it. Flavins, Flavins, F L A V I N. I mean, flavonoids flavonoids yeah is that what it is it's well the same thing i just guess yeah yeah so but because of that it has more but they there is some research saying that white wine has equally but nah i think that the the, the coloring in it itself it has a little bit more you say dark minute. dark is always better than white yeah and i don't and drink. that's a standard life rule for you dark yeah. is always better than white isn't yeah. that true people yeah. wine meat Dark is always better than white. No, nah, because I'm And that's a brown. principle that you live by. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling me racist, you know? <laughs> I mean, 
The real you's got to come out. Got to come out sometimes. <laughs> All right, I want to know. People want to know. You don't have to say it. You're never going to come back to Bad Friends. Yeah. You're never coming back. Not as a... Uh, Not as a person on the show. Uh-uh. Because here's what, here's what y'all didn't know. Yeah. And I think I might have told you this on the phone, but I, I was so hot, angry at the time. Yeah, hey, you were hot. <laughs> I had already planned on not when when we did the first episode yeah i didn't want to come back you didn't want to come back after the first episode yeah why is that cuz i didn't like see i know how you are even though i don't didn't know you know you like that like, yeah based on your movement at the store and how you engage with people but i fucking knew how bobby was <laughs> fucking knew <laughs> and i said god damn it i said something going on with him let me see what's going on he said, no, you're going to be on the podcast. I said, come be on the podcast. All right. Huh. Okay. So when I got there, then I seen his little ping pong match because you just followed whatever Bobby was doing and y'all just was, I said, what the fuck? Because I could see even in yourself, sometimes you was like, what the fuck is he? Mm -hmm. And then it was like, what is this? A lot of the show is what the fuck is Bobby right. doing, yeah. So remember after a few episodes, I said, oh, I'm the Cole or the Rose from Golden Girls. Right. Oh, I'm that guy. Cole's great, by the way. Yeah. One of the best characters on hey. Martin. You gotta be a, you, if like you know what drives me crazy when I when when it don't matter what And it I'm Shanene, by the way, for people that are listening for references for Martin. You're Cole. Yeah. I'm Shanene. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. And, and Bobby is You go, uh, girl. <laughs> yeah. I ain't good at it, and what and Bobby is uh 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 what was He's, the dude uh, what's the dude upstairs? Oh, bro man. Bro man, yeah. yeah full flow, yeah. Full, exactly. full, 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 bro man, bro man. Bro man. man. Fifth flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. But no, so you checked out. You were like, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. So then after the what happened was, you know, other fellow comedians, family. I'm yeah. like, no, stay on there and get, do what you, you know, just get used. You ain't even tried it. So that was something that my mother taught me with the comedy store because I didn't want to work at the comedy store. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll do that. Let me try to figure out where my place. So once I started looking, but I started really paying attention to Bob, I said, okay, this is what this guy wants. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I said, but I'm not going to continue to be that guy. So my aunt called me one time. She was like, my mother's sister. She's like, what? This, I don't like him. Blah, 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 this and that. And I was like, easy, easy, easy. And she said, but you know what? I talked to your cousin and he told me how you are. And I didn't know that part about you. And I thought you was just letting this in. I said, nah, I said, I was playing with it. And I called him and I said, hey, what's up? He said, what? He said, that's what you told your mom. So he said, yeah. He said, yeah, I told her you was just going to be doing this for so long. And then you're going to start amping it up. So remember towards the the end before I left yeah Bobby was like hey man what's gotten into you <laughs> yeah, yeah I was swinging it and I was right. like it's coming you right. fucking get ready so I was like <laughs> but at the same time I was watching Bob and monitoring Bob from day one so I was like I right, you heightened yeah. awareness yeah yeah I said I already know because I already know how he was from the store and from past past events with me and him and I said okay yeah now I'm about to watch Bob you're a little bit too and he's too wild Right? Too wild, yeah. For me, for what I like, like when we do the SOS, sometimes Carlos he goes in, right? He gets wild, yeah. But he's not disrespectful. He's just trying to find the funny. Sure. So the problem with podcasting that, and this is why I don't like podcasting. I hate it. Yeah. I just had fun with Carlos and them. I said, well, you know, y'all doing this movie? Let me try this thing and see what it is. That's all. I was just like, I like Pete and all of them, and I, I like all of y'all. Yeah. Even Bob goofy ass until that shit popped off. I was like, you <laughs> fucking motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, you're done. I said, like, you just expedited the goddamn uh -huh. process. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is gone. No, you put, I, it in, put it in the yeah, fast mode. Yeah, put line. it in fast mode. So, what was now you're saying you yeah, do it. You you were doing all the SOS yeah. stuff and you did all that, but you knew that the end was coming. Yes, and so for me, with bad friends, now I I would have been around a, uh, a little bit longer, but my end goal was always just to go. Okay, that's enough, man. Yeah, I did what I needed to do. Whether the fans, the fans, they gonna be what they be. You know? Sure. And you still see it. You still see fans from it. All the time. And people say, yeah. That's all I do. That's all. Why does he come back? But I don't pay it. Here's the thing about social media, and 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 this is for any any of the platforms. I, I don't. You ever see something funny like a video, and then you just want to see who's having fun in the comments. 
Uh. And then you get there, and then there's so many people not having fun. And you're like, what are you? What? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, it gets real negative and shitty. It's real negative. So what I learned is this. I was telling Carlos and him, I said, I don't, when I go, and if I look at the comments on whether it was Bad Friends or SOS, I just only see gays the, who's having fun or enjoying it. Everything else, no, nah, I can't. Because it's the same reason why I don't really like interacting with people that comment on my Instagram. Because name what, four to five mental illnesses. Just name them. Mental illnesses? Yeah. A sociopath, so schizophrenic, 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 bipolar. bipolar. Uh, what are you saying? All these people are in oh, the so comments? Like autism. Right. Let's just say those. Let's just take those. Okay, so you, you look at those, and now you got to ask yourself, all the people, whether good or bad, that's commenting on your page, which one of them have that problem? Well, you think all of them have something? Either it's, it's not all of them. It's just you don't know who. Sure. And you don't know who's going through a depression. You and don't who's know capable who's of what kind of chaos? It's like, not even about the chaos. It's just you don't know who you're dealing with, period. Sure. So you can't take any of it serious. Because the same person that's saying positive things to you could have a shrine built to you at their house with your fucking head with a hamster blood, <laughs> a heart drawn and hamster blood yeah. around your head going, yeah. I love Tino. Shout you out know? to Ron. That's my buddy Ron. Ron <laughs> has a Ron has an effigy for me you got <laughs> burning in, in perpetuity. Shout out to Ron. Thank you, Ron. You know I love you. Uh, don't do anything bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you you're right. Understand? The same people that love you hate you, and the same people that hate you love you. Yeah, so it's, so a, it's, it's a delicate line. It's a delicate line. So if you engage with them too much, that's being positive to you. You may be encouraging some kind of bad stalker behavior coming. Sure. So you 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 really have to understand that this is just a media platform. For me, it's just work, um, and I don't take it no serious than that. I like connecting with the fans. I do believe there's a lot more good than bad, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. However. Uh, yeah, it all gets convoluted as time goes on, right? Like, the, uh, people like to be negative. It's easier to be negative, you know? Well, it's more fun, I should say, to be negative because it gets people in, in a mood. It's why critics became, you know, it's why, the, it's why the world of criticism took so much weight. People like to hear someone go, this thing sucks. Right. Because then they go, tell me why it sucks. Right. So I can also try to hunt for why it sucks. Right. But, you know, again, back to your yin and yang theory of the universe. Well, I'm, there has to be death for there to be life. So, right. well, I don't like I say I don't like I say I engage, but I don't engage that much. Well, and especially not you're not engaging with women that are trying to take your money. Yeah, yeah. It's Listen up, like, women out there. Stop trying to take Doc's money. That's man, enough. Cut the shit out. Cut that shit you out. <laughs> so what do you? So now that you're 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 going to stay here and you're not going to go to New York. You're going to stay in L.A. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? You ever have plans to do tour? Would you ever want to tour and run the country? You know, the improv, what's his name? Cyrus. He gave me a headlining gig. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, we're going to do more business. So I thought from that point on, he was going to continue to book you, get, book me so that I can grow my hour and grow sure. as a stand up more as far as reaching people. Because it was my first time ever doing an hour. So it was rough, but it was still good. So I was like, okay. And it was surprising. I had like 70 something people. So great. Like, oh, cool. Yeah, but it's that fucking very improv. So, <laughs> so what? So he mastered, but I enjoyed that. That know, whole. But, but it was more than that because it was like the whole. All that. All the tables was filled up front. Them long tables, and then I had a few in the booths that was my family. Then all the other booths was regular people. So it was like, oh, okay, this is cool. It's good. I mean, dude, a, a ticket bot is a ticket bot. Doesn't right. matter how many there are. Right. That's nice that people. I mean, people are going. But what you you don't feel like going back out though? It's not for you. Yeah. And I do have some other things in line. I don't want to talk about them yet until they fucking pop, you know, until they, mm -hmm. they come out. Well, you, you, you can't even give me a preview of what's going on with you? Yeah. God damn, Because I don't like to do that until it actually happens because it's been, it's been times where I've done it and nothing happened. So I said, wait, let me make but sure. But that's the story of this business, right? Mm -hmm. I think people do want to know that. They do need to know that. A lot of things happen and they don't happen at all. Yeah. A lot of things are on. There's a lot of movement and then things die or they just cease or they, you know, or somebody new comes into a company and then changes. The, they're like, we don't want to do that anymore. That happens all the time. Right. Well, I can tell you, I'll give you this much. It's a little project with Kevin Hart. Something small. Something for me. It was cool. I like Too it. small, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> you're gonna do. Uh, you're gonna do twins, uh, but you'll both be Danny DeVito. Is that oh, what yeah, it is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be great. I hope that works out. Man. I hope so. Look, I miss you. I appreciate you. Um, I just wanted to jam with you for a minute. 
and and catch up and see what was happening. And also, you know, I know you'll never come back, but you'll always have a place well, on I Bad did Friends. Tell... Uh, Carlos? Who? Carlos. Andres? Carlos. Andres? Yeah, I told him that to talk to the to the fans directly themselves so they can get kind of an understanding of what happened between all three of us, right? Right. Because ain't nothing, it ain't got nothing to do with you, with you. So well, you and I know. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I said, I'll go back and do uh, that, do one episode, but. So you'll come back and do one Bad Friends, maybe. Yeah, yeah, for that reason. Yeah. For the, for the fans to just understand, like, it's not, because they don't, they think, like, there's no communication at all as far as, like, I just, like there's this anger between all of us that, that no, and that's not, not true. Yeah, yeah. It's just that me. The, here's the thing. Like, I mean, you and I talk, but I don't know if you talk to anybody else. Well, we we've text, but I, yeah. I've never. Here's the thing. Me and Bob never talk like that. That's, right. That's the thing. It's it's so there's this th- there. That's the fallacy as a podcast. It's it's as if people can't grasp the fact that it don't matter what platform it is. It's edited. Yeah. Right. If they gave you the full cut anywhere, any of them, whether it's I don't know, Bill Maher, if he has one or whoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's edited down so that it can be entertaining for you. If you got the full thing, you'll be like, man, shit, man. Why they didn't? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not 100% genuine in that aspect. Well, you're not going to see everything. No, that's impossible. Right. So you take that, and then you take the fact that you don't know the people that you're really listening to. Yeah, sure. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. If you and your wife really at home arguing and getting into it with each other, right. you, you know you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's so there's this aspect they have to understand that it's just entertainment. And right, there's don't. there's two separate versions. Right, the, right. The, there's a piece of us that is always real for the fans, but then there's only so much you can give to people. You also don't want to give everything because that's hard. Sometimes you're like, I need my own world to exist. Right, you can't live completely in the space. It would be detrimental to your health. Yeah. Your mental health. You'd have a breakdown if you lived everything on the internet. There's guys that do. I and mean, there's people that do, and kudos to them. Well, no, um, it looks sc- it looks scary and weird <laughs> and sad. Uh, well, I expect you to come back at some point, then to say goodbye, uh, a, a good send off. Yeah. We'll, we'll get you a nice gift. Yeah. I'll get you a, a fucking jug of Carlo Rossi. <laughs> we'll give you that bullshit. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you, Doc. And uh, I hope people do keep showing up to the shows. If you keep touring in Southern California, people got to keep popping up. You know I'll promote anything for you for the rest of the time. Um, we end the episode the same way. Look in that camera, and you say one word or one phrase to end the episode. It can be quick. It can be long. Love. In here... We pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.